Hi, welcome back. Today I want to just show my Hyperland setup that I am working on on my Dell laptop. Now I did start with a KDE Plasma on this laptop, but I decided to start diving more into Hyperland and learning how to actually configure and style it. So I decided to start here on my laptop. Now I did find a YouTube channel with very little subscribers that rebuilt the uh, Hyperland config that PewDiePie was using. So I am using a portion of that config and it specifically is for Rofi. It's still using the default image in it. I did change Rofi slightly. Let me go into here though. I have code. This is my Hyperland config that I've got here. And I've got this here, this environment for QT5CT. I have that set up, but if I open Dolphin, it's not honoring the theming that I'm doing. Still working on that. I'm honestly, hopefully someone that knows more than me actually uh, comments below what I'm missing. But I have my config Rossi here. I've been going through and altering this quite a bit because the way that it originally showed up on the screen was almost filling the entire screen. So I did alter that. I am going to be adding my own background wallpaper here. That is something I will be doing. I have my config JSON here for uh, my Waybar that I've decided to start customizing. I'm probably going to remove like this screen brightness one here and maybe the temperature. There's a few I'm actually going to remove. Like here, I want to change how this uh, highlights because I've removed it on a few of the others, like the performance profile. But I've got my Wi-Fi going in there that I got that in my uh, conf Hyperland config because I was struggling to get Wi-Fi to connect on this laptop. And I found I had to use this, which is in the default config, but I wanted to just write my own here. I am using Kitty as my terminal emulator. I have not started theming this yet, but I did, as you can see, my gaps on the screen are pretty good. You know, very consistent and in line actually with the gaps on the top and bottom of the way bar. I was thinking of maybe just going with a straight breeze dark theme. So I'm working on figuring that out, but I may just go with something else depending on how I want to theme stuff. But let's see if I go here and do Kate. Kate is honoring the theme, but you can obviously go here into settings and you can actually change the theming. Even if I open, uh, let's see, KDE system settings, this honored my theme just right out of the box and seems to have selected Breeze Dark by default. Because I put that on there because I do still have KDE Plasma on this computer. Obviously, I'm running a OBS Studio, but I do have my keyboard shortcuts mostly default. I use a uh, Super and Enter to bring up Rofi. And I use Super Q for the terminal. And, you know, it's very responsive, actually. So, you know, it does work pretty good. And Super E is... The Dolphin File Manager, Super C to close. Other things I'm working on is I want to set up a good PDF viewer that is more designed for a tiling window manager under Wayland. So I'm looking into specific applications that are geared more toward tiling window managers, but hopefully have native Wayland support. I'm willing to run them if they're X Wayland apps. Obviously, if they need to run that way, but some of the stuff I've ran into is themes not honoring what I have set. So if I go into QT6 config, you know, I've got it set the breeze darker, got all of this and I have everything set the way I want it. But even when I hit apply and reboot the system, just just the. Dolphin File Manager is not honoring my theme, is the biggest issue. So 
that is something uh look forward to more hyperland videos as i do more configs on here i am going to go through a configuration process because i'm going to recreate my finished theme once i'm done on my desktop because i do want to start doing more hyperland videos that is something i actually want to do on a regular basis is actually start working with hyperland and learning just more uh terminal based applications and really just working with a tiling window manager hyperland works very good for me when i'm at work honestly i bring this laptop with me and you know it works great if i'm looking at a only office you know it does open in a white type thing you know it doesn't really honor the theme but i know you can change it but that doesn't really bother me much i can just go here and do a spreadsheet you know it looks pretty good you know i do have 2x font scaling though obviously on here i do want to change that to a little bit lower because this is a uh, 3840 by 1200 display, I believe. It's 16 by 10. But if anybody out there knows why certain KDE Plasma applications are not honoring the theming, let me know. I know there is one other program I could download and install from looking at videos, but uh, definitely want to get the community's input on that. As I start learning Hyperland, I plan on documenting my journey on learning Hyperland and configuring it and using it for daily use and maybe testing gaming on it compared to KDE Plasma, which is my current main desktop use on my main workstation. Let me know what you think and potentially uh, anything I could fix to make it just a little bit better under Hyperland. but. Like, subscribe, comment below, share the video, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Later.